Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be diving into another mystery that I don't think a single person has been able to find or solve. So if you recall about a month ago, I talked about the legendary channel catfish, the final legendary fish that actually eats Jeremy Gill. It drags him into the water and how this legendary fish can be found in the in-game strategy guide, but can't actually be captured yourself. And I found that to be pretty weird. Like, no one has been able to do it so far. So I'm not sure if the steps just haven't been found yet, or no one knows how to replicate the sequence in order to capture it. Well, we're dealing with another similar mystery today, and it actually involves Pearson and a secret letter that he is supposed to send. So as I'm sure you guys know by now, you can meet a handful of the old gang members after the epilogue. That includes Tilly and Mary Beth and Mr. Pearson. And Mr. Pearson owns the general store in Rhodes now. And you can have like five or six unique conversations with him. And at the end of the entire story, he'll basically say he wants to send you a letter. John Marston? I don't believe it! I thought you were dead! Pearson, what are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah! Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> so what can I get for you today, sir? Ain't you a pretty thing. How the hell are you? Pretty good. Got some land in Great Plains. Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Woo! What a turn up for the books, huh? Anyway. John, nice to see you again. How have you been? Not bad. You? Oh, very well. So, I, I meant to ask last time. Are Abigail and Jack, uh... Okay? You're still with them? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing fine. Jack's nearly a young man now. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad. You know, I always like those two. Anyway, what can I do you for? Who are you talking to? Just an old friend. Well, you kind of don't sound... Yes, dear. Who's that? That's my wife, Ethel. A wonderful woman. Changed my life. This place is too big for that. You know, this really is a little awkward. <laughs> yeah. Rhodes, I don't want to miss this. Mr. Marston, I was wondering if you'd be back. How you been? No, oh, ticking along. Where is it your base now again? I was, uh, thinking I might send you a letter. Some things I wouldn't want Ethel to, uh, overhear. Uh, it's a place called Beecher's Hope in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. Okay, good, good. So, what can I help you with today? Yes, dear? This coffee is as bitter as wormwood. Okay, I'll make a fresh pot for you. I just have a customer right now. I love that woman. You know, before her, I was married briefly to a lady called Michelle, but she was an absolute nightmare. Oh, seems you've landed on your feet this time. You know, sometimes people here still talk about the brutal demise of the Greys and Braithwaites. I just smile and keep quiet. Hey, you're back. How are things? Not too bad. I have to ask. Do you still see any of the others? I left when things... Well, you know how it was. I heard about Arthur. Yeah, that didn't end well. I'm in touch with some of them. Uncle, Charles, Sadie. Really? Please send my regards, even to Mrs. Adler. And Dutch, is he, uh... even alive? <sighs> I don't know. If he is, I sure hope I never lay eyes on him again. Sad how it all turned out. Anyway, no point dwelling on it now, is there? <laughs> what can I help you with today? Is that him again? What does he want now? 
Him? He just popped in to say hello. You stay out of that filthy business, you hear me? Of course, dear. <sighs> I overdid it on the rum. I told her more than I should. Sorry, dear. I don't miss slaving over a hot fire day in, day out, let me tell you. Okay, so as you guys heard there, Mr. Pearson wants to send us a letter. And this letter sounds pretty interesting because he wants to discuss a lot of the things that he's afraid his wife will overhear. So I found that to be kind of interesting. What did Pearson find out during his time away from the gang and before we meet him in 1907? And not only do we hear this line of dialogue from Pearson, but also take a look at this. This is a screenshot from the in-game guide of Red Dead Redemption 2 on the documents page. And you can see there that there are two letters from Mr. Pearson. The first is one that you actually get in chapter three, and that is obtained during the mission Further Questions of Female Suffrage. That's the letter where Pearson is writing to his aunt Kathy, talking about how he hasn't married yet and how he hopes she's feeling better. But take a look at the one above that. It also says letter from Mr. Pearson. Receives after you visited Pearson in the Rhodes General Store during or after the epilogue. So even the official guide of the game tells us that this letter exists. However, I don't know how you go about receiving this letter. So I have looked on YouTube. I have looked on forums. I have looked on websites. No one seems to have received this letter. Now, the first place I thought to look for this would have been at Beecher's Hope. Because after all, that's where John Marston says he lives. And that's the address that Mr. Pearson even looked for. In fact, you can even find a letter from Tilly on the sort of kitchen table uh, if you talk to her. Hello? John! John Marston. Miss Tilly. That's Mrs. Tilly to you. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. I'm well. Well and happy, and I miss you and Abigail. She's well. Jack's well. All is well, I think. I, I never thanked you for what you did. Oh, there's the trolley. I still think about all of you all the time. My life, it's different now. Mine too. But... I still see a bunch of Charles and Uncle and Sadie, so not quite so different as Abigail would like. I married a lawyer. He's a fine man. We live in a house. Us too. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I'm late. But can I write to you and Abigail someplace? Yeah, we're up at Beecher's Hope over in Great Plains, West Elizabeth. I'll try. Be well, John Marston. So the letter from Tilly arrives, but how come the letter from Mr. Pearson never actually arrives? And trust me, I have spent days and hours looking for this letter. I have checked every nook and cranny at Beecher's Hope, even in the kitchen where you would think a letter from Pearson might end up going, but I have not found anything. Like, I've literally probably waited a month time in game, still haven't received anything. And I completed all the lines of dialogue that you can get from Mr. Pearson. So here's what I'm thinking. I think there's two possibilities here. The first possibility is that Rockstar just removed this from the game and they forgot to remove it from the in-game strategy guide. So this probably could have been a last minute you know, switch or this could have been something that they just completely dropped from the game. So it's clear that they mentioned it in the guide but that is one possibility. The second possibility is that, and I think this is pretty unlikely, that no one so far has triggered how to find the letter from Mr. Pearson. Now, this seems unlikely for a couple reasons. Number one, millions of people have played Red Dead Redemption 2. You would assume that someone would have accidentally triggered this message being delivered to them. And number two, there seems like there's only a limited number of things you could do. I mean, you can only talk to Mr. Pearson so many times before he won't have any new dialogue for you. So it's not like there's an infinite number of things you could do to try and get this letter to appear. And where else would it be? I've checked the post office. I've checked Beecher's Hope. 
you know, what other place would he possibly send it to? Now, the third possibility is, although I think this is also really unlikely given what we see in the strategy guide, is that Pearson just never got around to sending it. Is that that's something he said for dialogue, but never ended up sending. Again, it seems unlikely based off of what we've seen from other characters, Tilly, you know, actually sending a letter and this being in the strategy guide and Tilly's letter also appears in the strategy guide too. So that's why I think this is one of the biggest mysteries in Red Dead Redemption 2 that not a single person has been able to solve. And I wonder if that's because it simply doesn't exist in the game or it's because no one has figured out how to solve it via some mysterious sequence that, again, no one has figured out. So if you guys feel like you have any ideas on how to receive this letter from Mr. Pearson, feel free to let me know in the comments down below or reach out to me on my Facebook page. Trust me, guys, I feel like I have tried everything, but if you seem to have made some progress, you can let me know down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.